the best thing about about the particular story between Artemira and Beatrice Joanna has, was a rehearsal that we had with Declan and Nick in Norsey, where I think we we all realised that um, well, I realised that Altamiro begins the play thinking that it's a Shakespearean tragedy, like Romeo and Juliet, and it's called Altamiro and Beatrice Joanna. And he, of course, he hopes it won't end tragically. He hopes it'll be a fantastic love comedy, and they'll, you know, be happily married, and there'll be a dance. And um, as there always is. And what happens in the Changeling is that he realises. What about the, the scene in which Beatrice Joanna has the idea to get De Flores to murder her betrothed Alonso de Paracuo? That is where the Alcimiro Beatrice Joanna sort of Romeo and Juliet story veers off the train tracks into something completely different. And Alcimiro has no idea. And from that point onwards, he is kept out of the loop. And every time he sees the audience, and talks to them, and every time he's on stage, he thinks that they know as much as he does, um, but in fact, they know everything, and he knows nothing, and for most of the second half of the play, he's um, a pawn in the chess game that Beatrice Duana and De Flores are playing. And then what happens at the end of the play, in the final scene, um, when Alcimiro confronts Beatrice Duana about um, what he's seen, um, he's seen Beatrice Duana and De Flores together, is that he realises that it hasn't been a play about him at all, um, and he realises that he's been kept completely out of the loop. And that is, um, that's his tragedy, that's his narcissism, that's his loss. Um, narcissism in the sense that um, he thinks that he's his, he thinks that he's well, his own protagonist. Um, but that actually he's been a supporting player in, in a, much, a much greater scheme of things.